Hello, and welcome to Simple Man Sermons, the preachings of a simple man called by God to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Today, another hip pocket sermon, a brief sermon, hopefully succinct and to the point. Today's starting verse, the words of Jesus, Then he said to them, Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hear, more will be given. For whoever has, to him more will be given. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Again I read, with the same measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Jesus oftentimes railed against hypocrisy. Let us not get a wrong view of Christ. He often offended people, people that needed offending. He never offended anybody wrongly. Right? He's a perfect God, but he offended people that needed offending. He especially was critical of hypocrites, people that told you to do one thing and did another themselves or didn't do what they were telling you to do. We see this right in front of our faces in the Gospel of Matthew. If you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Do you need to be forgiven by God? for sins, for transgressions, for doing wrong. Yes, yes you do. You know how I know? Because I do. And every human being that's ever walked the earth, save Christ Jesus, needs forgiveness from God. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't ask for forgiveness from God when you're not willing to forgive others who have sinned against you. Whatever However, somebody has wronged you, and they may have actually legitimately wronged you. How much more have we wronged God? Spit in the face of the one who made us, who gave us basic instructions on how to live, and we say, you know what, God, I know you say to do this thing, but I don't want to do it. Or I know you say really don't do this thing, this thing is not good for me. I know what you say, but I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. And that stings, right? It should sting. How often in our lives do we do that? How often in our lives do we need forgiveness? Again, this is very plain. It, that doesn't make it easy. The things of God are often simple but powerful truth. If you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Again, I go back to the first passage. Take heed what you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hear, more will be given. Do you want more? Do you want more from God? Are you hearing what he's saying here? Are you hearing? Don't be a hypocrite. There are many things that that goes into. But a big one, if you want forgiveness then you have to forgive. Don't be a hypocrite. You need God's forgiveness? Amen. I need it too. Then we have to forgive, whether we want to or not, whether we feel like it or not, especially, especially when we don't want to or feel like it. Especially then, forgive and be forgiven. Don't be a hypocrite. There's much more that goes into hypocrisy, but can we agree to start there? children of God, that we need forgiveness. We need grace. And should we not then show grace and forgiveness and forgive those who have sinned against us? In fact, what does it say in the Lord's Prayer? In fact, let's, let's go out with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread. 
and forgive us of our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one.